Okay, why don't you start, introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Melody. I'm Robbie's mom. Great. And you are part of his um, team yeah. that will work with the dog. Um, so what parents or caregivers are in the home? There's me and my husband Josh, and we do have some older kids that help out. How comfortable are you with dogs, and how extensive is your knowledge of them and their behavior? Oh, I grew up with dogs my whole life, basically. So I love, I've always enjoyed dogs, and have a pretty good knowledge, but it'll be fun to, to learn some more. Have you had dogs in your adult family? Um, no, not in this family. Are there dogs in the home now? No. How did you relate to any of these dogs? Well, they're growing up, they're great. They trained them and they learned how to do all sorts of fun tricks and help with their care. Were the dogs inside or outside? Inside. Are there dogs that make you nervous? Uh, not, not usually. Uh, what, if so, what behavior is it that does this? I think if, I think if I'm, my children are really nervous about how a dog is reacting. That's the thing that makes me most nervous. Okay, what do you like in a dog? I love their loyalty and companionship. And I've watched Robbie with dogs and how he communicates with them and how he's so happy and excited and loving and giving. What do you dislike in dogs? Um, natives. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> uh, do you have a size preference? Um, not particularly. Just one that supports our family the best. How do you feel about handling the dog in public? Um, I'm totally fine. I'd be happy to take him out to public. Gabe, do you want to introduce yourself? Mm. What's your name? Gabe. Are you Robbie's brother? Yes. Are you excited to get a dog? Dog for Robbie to help him? Yes! Okay. <clears throat> That's good for now. My leg. Okay, how does Robbie do with animals? Uh, he does fairly well, but he needs assistance. Sometimes he can smother, smotherly love them. And uh, we do have goats, and sometimes he likes he does throw rocks at them, but we're working on that. I think he tries to feed them rocks. I don't think he's actually trying to hurt them, but he does like to try and throw rocks and maybe have them eat it. What good experiences has Robbie had with dogs or pets? Well, ever since he was little, he'd always run and try and say hi to other people's dogs. And, so I would usually ask the owners if that's okay, and if that's okay, then he would just go and say hello. Bigger dogs, he was a little more cautious though. He would get a certain amount and then just say hi from there. Have there ever been a uh, bad experience, bad experiences? Um, not that I can think of for our immediate family. What type of dog personality-wise would be best? One that is um, gregarious and can, has the ability to be calm. Any dogs that make you or Robbie afraid? Um, as I said, Robbie had a harder time with larger dogs, but he seems to be doing better now that he's grown up a little bit. But um, yeah, medium sized dogs seem to be better for him. Great. <clears throat> okay, let's meet the family. Adam? Yeah. Introduce yourself. I'm Adam. Robbie's brother. How old are you? Fifteen. Uh, how do you feel about getting a dog? Two I'm excited. Two I've always wanted one and three I think it'll be eyes. really good for Robbie. Three and he, he loves dogs. So. Um, okay, Josh. Do you want to introduce yourself? I am Josh and I um, I am eleven. Eleven? You Robbie's brother? Yes. How do you feel about getting a dog? I feel um, amazing. 
tuned and I know it'll help Rafi to um, learn some things that he needs to learn. And I'm happy to play with the dog too. Happy to play with it, okay. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Rachel. Do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Rachel. I'm 12. And I am Robbie's sister. Robbie's sister. How do you feel about getting a dog? I am excited to Mom, have, no, 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 have an extra help around and to have a dog for Robbie. Hannah, what, what's your name? You're Hannah. How old are you? Two. You're two? Do you like dogs? Yes. You like dogs? Do they make you scared? Sometimes? Yes. Do they give you kisses? Little no, licks on the... the baby dog. You like baby dogs? Yes. Okay. Exciting. Okay, well that's most of the family. Yeah. You want to say something else? Yeah, we did Gabe. Okay, and here's the superstar, Robbie. You excited to get a dog? I think that. Do you like to play with dogs, Robbie? Yep. Great. All right, let's do the house tour next. Okay, here is our house. You get it uh, in its kind of raw state. This is the kitchen, the uh, entry, right here, the uh, living room. I think the, the main area that is probably important here is where Robbie sleeps. So this is kind of where we were thinking to put our dog is probably in the corner where this couch is, but uh, we're still kind of working out options, but that's a nice little area. We've got a kind of a guest room here, a bathroom, and this is uh, one of the rooms where Robbie sleeps in one of those bunks. We've got a uh, brother's room here. And then uh, we got sister's room. This is our laundry area. That goes out to the garage. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. Thank you, sick. And then we have downstairs. It's kind of a game room spot. And then there's an office back in the corner there. This walks out to uh, kind of a, an under, or a, uh, dugout patio and we've got that door blocked because that's one of the places that Robbie escapes seems to be okay for now just putting the couch there and we have also on the door here you see we've got the, the lock up high to keep Robbie from getting out he does seem to be quite the escape artist Got the master bedroom back here as well. And another exit point that he kind of sneaks out of. So we've got a couch in front there. This is the second spot where we've been keeping Robbie at night um, after he snuck out a couple of times in the middle of the night without us knowing, two, three o'clock in the morning um got out and visited grandma and grandpa in the house 
outside that I'll show you in a second. But this is another spot where he'll be potentially. We do have a couple of people with dog allergies in the family. I'm one of them. And then my son Joshua is also allergic to dogs. So we will be getting some air filters and things. We talked to a, an allergy specialist. Uh, um, talk about that. So next I'll show you the outside. Okay, walking out the front door here, we got the the front porch area. This is uh, Robbie's grandma and grandpa. They live right next door. And um, just right off of the house here, a little casita. And Sometimes Robbie will sneak out and visit them, but a lot of times he'll sneak out and just start walking down this road right out front. And there's uh, the next door. There's just some entertaining stuff. We have some goats just right here across the street. One of the reasons we bought this house is because we live on a a pretty quiet street with only a few houses on it um, so we don't have a ton of traffic just hopefully keeps Robbie a little more safe but these are the, the goats you can see them kind of in the background there so sometimes Robbie will sneak out and, and come play with the goats this is the the front yard or the in front of our house we have the backyard a huge backyard of this other home here it's a couple acre or maybe I don't know three two and a half acres or something so sometimes he'll sneak out and go across there and start playing and in some of their play stuff there's a little little uh, clubhouse type thing and stuff sometimes he'll sneak over there this is our side yard here and uh, you know he'll get out fairly often and, and um, you know, sometimes play out here it's pretty pretty innocent but still tough to kind of keep track of him and then uh, and then I'll just walk around and kind of show you the rest of the yard here so we got this little front section and then this is the road this is where Robbie's bus comes down to pick him up for school and then this comes around in the driveway So this is the backyard. We have a little garden area over here. This is a, what was a in-ground trampoline. We're probably gonna turn it into a, a sandbox, maybe chicken coop. We don't have chickens yet, but we do plan to get some. This is a, a pool pump area in the shed. This is Robbie's window. If we could see inside, you'd see his, his bed there from the first bedroom that I showed you. And then here is the pool area. So this is, the pool is fenced and so far we haven't had anybody get in without supervision so that's that's good back patio and then this just rotates around till we get back to the side yard and there's the road again. And there's that uh, dugout 